Hey everyone, this is Elaine, and welcome back to my channel. This past weekend, I spent Thursday, Friday, and Saturday with a bunch of gals, and most of them are scrapbookers, of course. Um, but there's a couple people that do different things like me. But one of them um, does like to do junk journals. Excuse my sniffles. Um, and that's actually who I stayed with this weekend. Her name's Patty. Also, Patty and I have in common that we like to do yard sales and thrift stores and estate sales. So we managed to pop into a few each morning before we went to go craft with the friends. So I just kind of want to show you quickly here some of the goodies that I got out and about. Um, as you can see here, I got some books. I'm all about a little metal lunchbox. I like to store things in there. They travel well. Usually they stay locked. I got some twine. Always need twine. Old band-aid box. Um, I need some bling, and I can't really tell you much about it right now, but I need a bunch of sparklies. I have always wanted those um, cards, multiplication, those some division. Um, I think they were dated the 1990s. That right there looks like stationary, but it's the coolest. That paper actually slides down into a pocket. Pretty cool, pretty cool. This is actually a gun case. It's got foam inside. I also have been collecting little suitcases and stuff like that. Unfortunately, someone took that one and painted every bit of it silver. The inside is not, thank heavens. So that one's going to need some work. This one is ready to go. It's good inside. It's good outside. So I probably will not even collage that one. The same with this one. This one is beautiful. Um, so it is ready to go. The only thing about it is the lock system is a little sprung on the outside. Still closes, still stays closed, but it needs a little bit of work. And then I got some fabric. There's a lace tablecloth up under there. Some napkins, some doilies. Um, back there, that metal box... Doesn't that kind of remind you of an Edith Holden book? Had to have it. Had to have it. And then I have been collecting games that have tiles in them, letter tiles. Um, I have a little thing that I've been selling. And, uh, and there I got some more tiles. And then I got a few different kinds of little books, some playing cards. Got one of those clocks from Tim Holtz that you embellish and put things in. Don't quite know what I'm going to do with it yet. Don't have a plan. But I'm going to figure out something. Excuse me. And then I'm always about some paper. If I see paper, I'm pretty much going to get it. Those are some miscellaneous books. And there's some maps up underneath. And then I've been on the hunt for Legos. And then those rolls of paper right there. The two white ones actually have what I would say is like Christmas tinsel. That gold tinsel in them. That paper at a... That's just called them a art store is expensive. So I did get me two rolls of that paper. Excuse me, here I am. Two rolls of that um that paper, and it's really textured too. Got me some wooden puzzles. Um, at my retreat, we always do um embellish a puzzle and someone wins it. So I'm way far ahead now on the number of puzzles I have. Um that pink crate I picked up. Don't quite know why I got it. I guess maybe because I've never seen a pink one before. <laughs> and then I got a bunch of popsicle sticks. And then lastly, I just got one of those little cardboard suitcases that you find like at the, the big box stores. But it was pretty cheap. And again, it can store stuff to travel. So that was my goodies that I got this week. And I'm tickled with what I got. Um, didn't spend really a whole lot. And uh, yeah. So check out. Your local yard sales, estate sales, you never know. And what I discovered is mainly what I like, not very many other people might be interested in. So it's there waiting on you, I promise. So please come on back and check out my other videos and I will catch you all down the road. Bye.